everyone, I'm here today with a project for I Am Roses. I created this 12 by 12 hanging layout of my husband and I. We had uh, gone to a Korean barbecue grill uh, in the Bay Area to celebrate my mom and dad's uh, 42nd wedding anniversary. And my seven-year-old took this picture of me and my husband. And I wanted to go ahead and scrap it. And... The paper collection that I'm using is sort of a Mod Podge of paper collections. I have Recollections, I have Kane Company, um, and yeah, so anyways, uh, I'll have all of the products listed on my blog, so you'll want to check it out over there. So anyways, uh, let me go, go over how I created this layout. The layout itself is on this really cute, and I'm sorry for the, um, for the, angle of the camera it's hard to get the whole layout in the um captured in the film and my desk is a hot mess so <laughs> but this is an AccuCut uh layout die and it's really nice it's ornate and i really like it i also have these mini album pages it comes in a die set of three by AccuCut also and it comes with a similar page that's cut like the layout except it's only seven by nine but it layers nicely on top of the um, the 12 by 12 uh, with design paper on the back. This bingo card um, I got in a rack a while back and I found it and I thought it would be really cute to use it uh, on the layout. And then this doily right here is a, a heart doily that I had in my stash as well. And I inked everything with um, frayed burlap. And then <clears throat> as far as the products for I Am Roses that I used on here, I am completely in love, you guys, with the crochet flowers. Um, I used them, a, a bunch of them on this layout. Here, uh, I just adhered them down onto the layout and just uh, put a Cristazzi crystal in the center. With this one, I layered the crochet flower on top of some Maya Road floral trim. And I, uh, so I put the crochet flower on top of that and then I added a ribbon buckle and then I added a halfback pearl, and I really like how that layering came out. And then I have a butterfly from my stash uh, from a rack. I have some beautiful trim from Carla S001. I have two layers. I have one down there, and then I have another layer up here. And then I used this really pretty crushed velvet pink trim that I got from Jade. Hey, Jade! Uh, she's Jaded Studios on YouTube. Um, she gave this to me in a rack like ages ago, and I just loved it so much I never used it, and I thought it would go well with this layout, so I went ahead and, and added that. And what I did over here, as far as the sprays, I used this really pretty candle holder, an Easter candle holder spray, um, or decorative, decorative uh, candle spray from Michaels. You can buy that in the floral section. And I basically took it apart and added an I Am Roses spray. So I layered another I Am Roses spray on here. And um, so I added that all together and then I just started adding a whole bunch of I Am Roses flowers to sort of uh, fill everything in. So I used some of the the mini roses, um, some of the, the R8s, and then I added some pink cherry blossoms. And then here's another butterfly from my stash. And then I added more of the crochet flowers again with uh, ribbon buckles and halfback pearls and then I use some of the rose leaves and then here are some of the uh, two-tone pink R77s I love those they are so pretty and then I have another I am roses flower right here which is white with a pink center so that's basically what I did um, I took some stickers from my stash and distressed them with the frayed burlap they were kind of very pink so I toned them down with some frayed burlap and then here's more of the crochet flowers up here. And then I have this vintage hanger. Uh, I'm actually going to hang this in my scrap room, this, this layout. So, And it just says love in there. That was a, a vellum sentiment that I had in my stash. So that is my I Am Roses project for today. And I hope you like it. I'll have more pictures up on my blog. And I will have the uh, products listed up there as well. Um, so check out I Am Roses at IamRoses.com. Thanks for watching, everyone.